guys, so it's Mishy Mommy here. Sometimes I can't tell when I'm recording. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to go over a Korean eyeshadow palette. That's right, a Korean eyeshadow palette. I'm sure there's been some YouTubers that have gone over Korean products before. I'm sorry, this is my first, so I'm going to go over what I bought. I was in the Korean grocery store with my family this past weekend. Or was it two, uh, the weekend before last? now so I was there with no it was last weekend not important anyway so I was there with them and my husband does most of the grocery shopping he was off looking at produce things like that I got bored wandered into a beauty section of that grocery store a small little area where they have uh Korean they have some American products but mostly Korean beauty products so they had skincare and they had beauty uh, products so I got curious um, I think this was my second visit to the store when I actually bought the palette they're they're a little pricey and let me just not say a little pricey they are pricey so what I ended up doing was the first time I went I said I don't want to pay that money then I thought about it I said you know what let me give it a try it is from another country that's probably why there's I don't know if you call it an upcharge on it or whatever um, so I went on ahead and bought the palette let's just say the palette was expensive but I mean this palette for this many shades was almost $30 so I ended up buying it um, if you look at the back of it it's mostly Korean well it's mostly Korean writing I believe this here is English in the middle yes it is eyeshadow palette will color with colorful combination of colors and textures that can express natural daily makeup to glamorous shining makeup that did not make any sense well the name of the palette is skin 79 I that's the name of the palette Tim shadow palette is the name of it zero to brown mode so this is zero to brown mode zero to brown mode and that's the name of the palette so I ended up buying this palette uh, let me go ahead and open it I did swatch earlier I tried I attempted filming earlier today I'm not going to try anything on this is what I tried on this is the look that I came up with I will tell you the rest of the products that I do have on my face as well towards the end of the video this is going to be a rather a shorter video than usual this is um, what the palette looks like it comes with a mirror and it comes with uh, one two three four five shades there and it comes with the little blender brush it's not a brush blender spongy thing two-sided and it's a different shape on each on this side this side is a different shape than this side so yeah and as you can see where I've gone in to the colors the it's always the most glittery shade that has the most fallout always the most glittery shade that has the most fallout my experience so this is what I tried on the colors that I did use on my eye I used actually every color in here of course this color I used as my transitional shade here let me this color was my transitional shade um, and you know honestly I don't remember I know that I put a lot of the gold color and there was quite a bit of fallout there from that the gold color right here where my little finger is pointing that color uh, went mostly on my eyelid and the darker colors and the copper colors I used mostly here and here uh, I did do a dark crease in here with the darker color that they have I'm all over the place right now So that's the darker color I put in the crease. I liked it. It's this is this is great 
a great palette for everyday work or during this season that we're in now, which is um, fall going into winter. I really did like it. Um, sorry, phone calling. So I really did like the palette. Again, this is a Korean palette. This is the name of it. Mostly Korean writing, made in Korea. And I do like it. Oof, that was blurry. So let me just go over quickly. Um, you can go to your local Korean store if you have one in your town. Check out most Korean grocery stores will have a little area or kiosk with beauty products. Check them out. I will say that uh, I did check online and found that palette for like $15 on a Korean website. So first time doing something like this, I know now, I don't know if I trust ordering something on a Korean. I saw two websites. One was Korean only one seemed like it was an English, um, an all English language and it was based here, but it sold Korean products. I don't, don't quote me on that, but if you do a Google search on what I just showed you, you'll get the same information that I got. Let me just go over what I do have on my face. I did end up going to Ulta and I got the Hangover uh, Proactive Nourishing Too Faced Replenishing Face Primer. It's silicone free. It says coconut water pro probiotic based ingredient and skin revivers. I did put a little of that uh, on my face around my nose here before putting my powder uh, fit me that I always put on. And this is my, acts as my translucent. I didn't use um, foundation today, but I did put this primer from Too Faced on. It's first time using, my first time using Too Faced. I really did like it. It smelled like coconuts. <laughs> so I did like that. The blush that I have on, didn't mean to smile and look weird. The blush I have on is Note from Note. And that's in the color Desert Rose. I do have, well, I started out on my lips. I started out with the crown, um, sangria color but i ended up taking it off it was, was just too red for this eye look so i went with my um covergirl melting pout color uh for my lips and for my eyebrow eyeshadow i did you i thought i had brought it i used two mascaras i did one coat with the Too Faced Cosmetics um, Better Than Sex mascara, not the waterproof one. And I did the second coat with the Superhero uh, It Cosmetics. Uh, it just doesn't want to focus, but anyway, this is it. I put that on the second coat and that uh, was for my eyebrow eyelashes. Uh, and then for the highlighter, I used the Wet n Wild highlighter powder in the color Blossom Glow. I used it on my cheeks, on the bridge of my nose, like I always do. And to put my powder on, I did use the crown brush. I'm starting to really like this, this style of brush for putting on my um, powder, face powder. So that's all. That's really all I have. Uh, I did take some pictures like I've been doing lately. Uh, I think the picture captures more of the color on my face. So I'm going to include um, pictures at the end of this. I did order a Japanese um, box. Not sure if it's going to come today. And even if it comes today, I don't know if I'll have time to do a video today. But I did do um, order a Japanese box. 
I'm trying to see my ipsies on the way. The name of the Japanese box is called No Make No Life. It's No Make No Life. And they have a beauty box. So I'm going to try that. Uh, I'm going to do an unboxing. I don't think I've seen anybody do an unboxing of them. I'm not going to look for anybody that's done one. Um, I'm not going to specifically look. I'm going to do my own thing when I first get it. Uh, I don't know what's going to be in the box. I did not get a chance to open and see what was included in my box. So it, you're going to be looking at it the same time I'm going to be looking at it for the first time. So not sure which box is going to get there. And of course, BoxyCharm should be coming too. So there's three boxes that will be coming and then when i do the full face um makeup thing with boxy charm and or ipsy um i'm gonna use this hangover two-faced hangover primer um a little bit more because i only put it around the, my nose today so um again and i did the elf primer for my eyes like i always do no no big special thing there so again um if you like the video, like it. If you want to subscribe to see more from me, that's fine. Go ahead. If not, that's fine too. So uh, I'm pretty easy with that stuff. No biggie for me. Um, you will see pictures next and stay tuned. Bye.